Before starting this video, let me tell you about a commercial that aired on Turkish TV a few years ago, and I still can't forget it. In 2019, a technology company called Peak took a very different step and aired its ad on 41 major channels in Turkey at the same time. In addition to being broadcast on all channels at the same time, the ad managed to attract the attention of many people with the text it used and the series aura it created. Even on social networks, it was talked about for a long time. Obviously, the main reason why many people still remember this ad is because it aired on all channels at once. However, I must also mention that the text written for this advertisement played a big role in creating that serious aura I mentioned earlier. Today's topic is related to the art of writing advertising text, i.e. copywriting. Advertising texts are not only text written for commercials that appear on television or social networks, but also advertising emails, messages, brochures, websites, catalogs, and articles. Some people confuse content writing with copywriting. However, the article prepared by the content writer is more educational and informative. For example, the text of the video you're currently watching or the articles you come across during your Google search can be examples of the work created by content writers. On the other hand, copywriters help businesses appeal to a larger audience by writing promotional text. I should also note that some copywriters work as freelancers, while others work under certain advertising companies. For example, the company Animators, a supporter of our videos, also offers copywriting services along with animation when making a video. Finally, copywriting can be confused with copywriting because its pronunciation is the same. But don't forget that copywriting means ensuring copyright protection. So what are the secrets of copywriting? And how can you write better advertisement text? One of the most important factors in writing successful ad copy is research. Doing market research and seeing what people want will help you to write articles that will catch their attention. For this, you can also read the opinions of people on various social networks regarding the product or service you're going to market. For example, imagine that you're developing an application for ordering food. At this point, reading reviews of competing companies that are currently operating to get people's opinions can give you an advantage. Based on the information you collect, you have a chance to provide better service than your competitors and highlight this in your advertisement. Because during advertising, especially touching on the points that people complain about and promising to solve these problems, you will bring them one step closer to using your product. In addition to market research, it's important that you also research sources such as advertising emails that come to your email address, the text of advertisements on television. Seeing how your competitors are advertising and analyzing those ads can give you ideas on what you can do to outdo them. In fact, you should do this not only for this specific purpose, but also for inspiration. You can analyze the advertising emails you receive, the advertisements you encounter on the road, on television, and use their good aspects in your advertisement. Of course, we're not talking about directly repeating what they said, because using exactly the same sentences is not ethical in the first place. If you do this, people's faith in the company would be damaged. And if the company whose advertisements are used has copyrights, it can cause great damage to the other company and they may resort to legal means. Therefore, the main goal here is not to copy sentences, but to understand the strategy followed during advertising and improve on it. Or if there are negative points, not to repeat them. In order to facilitate the advertising analysis, remember the ads that attract your attention and seem successful to you in social networks on the road, on television, wherever you are. These ads that you save in a section of your phone or computer can be a source of inspiration for you when writing a new ad text. In general, similar ads are analyzed before writing a new ad copy, which will save you a lot of time. There's no need to reinvent the wheel, because trying to reinvent the wheel will take a lot of time and money. In addition, when writing advertising text, it's very important to divide your text into three main parts. The first of these is to write an introduction that can grab the viewer's attention. If you do that, 
it doesn't matter how good the rest of the text is. Because if you can't attract the viewer's or reader's attention from the first sentences, they'll most likely not watch or read the ad until the end. But what can you do to attract their attention? As I said earlier, market research plays an important role here. Because once you know your target audience well, it will be easier for you to create a sentence that can attract their attention. In this section, highlighting the problems of the target audience is one of the most successful tactics. When the viewer knows that his problem is discussed and a solution is shown, he's motivated to continue watching the ad. For example, imagine that you're a student. You can't find extra time for classes, but you want to learn a new language. At such a moment, do you want to learn a new language from your own home without spending extra money? If the ad starts with the question, you will most likely continue watching the video. Because you are a student, you probably don't have a stable source of income and you want to learn a new language and develop yourself. The ad that appears in front of you is able to attract your attention by reflecting all your criteria with one question. In the second part, you can show your product or service as a solution to the problems mentioned in the first part. The second part of the text is the main advertising part. In this part, you introduce your company, manager, or service to the audience by talking about your advantages and promises. Let's continue from the previous example of an application for learning a language. You can now talk about your application as a solution to the problems in that question. It's also important to keep the viewer informed without boring them by briefly talking about your special offers and benefits. The third and last part is called Call to Action. Once you've completed the previous two parts, you'll have laid a very good foundation for your call to action. In this section, as the name suggests, you invite the viewer to do something. This call can be click the link below, visit our website, place an order, and so on. If we return to our example, we can use this sentence at the end. Just download Program A and start learning a new language. In this video, we talked about what copywriting is and how to write better advertising text. So what's been your most eye-catching ad copy to date? Thanks for watching.